All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, kind of a scallop line to the water. I'm going to double click, change this to white just so it's a different color so I can see this. And then I'm going to, um, you see this panel, it's been pulled out. All I did was right click and then I left click on this bar right here and then this flies out. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my ellipse tool. I'm going to add an ellipse. I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to control C, control V. Makes a duplicate right here. You can also hold the option key, alt or option key and drag so you get another one. I'm going to shift and click these and then I'm making duplicates. Shift and then hold the alt key, duplicate. All right, if I wanted to, now I could grab even more of these. Hold the shift key. Press the Alt key down so you get the two arrows. And then I've got that. And that's fine if it goes off the edge because that's just the clipboard and it won't show up in our printed. I'm holding the Shift key and I'm selecting all of these. And then I'm going to go to my window and I'm going to hit Align. That will pop forward. And then I'm going to do a vertical align top. And that evens them out. Then I'm going to hit Command G or Control G and this now groups them. So if I click off of it and then I click on it again, I'm going to get all of the circles. I'm going to hold the Shift key and select these and now I have them grouped. And now I'm going to basically subtract this from the rectangle down below. So I'm going to go to Window and then I select Pathfinder and then this pa um, little panel will pop up. I'm going to use this one right here. It's the second one called Minus Front. When I left click on it, now it disappears. I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to hit the delete key to get rid of that. And with Illustrator, I can just move this up and then I can adjust to have that fill. So that's how you make the scallop line.